Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel and in today's video we have an iPhone 11 that came for battery replacement but without the importing battery message. So as I mentioned before in my iPhone XS Max battery replacement video that Apple made this visible after we changed the battery with third party batteries that we use as repair shops to change batteries for the customers. Of course for those who have Apple Genium parts they can just replace and activate. But for us, we don't have access to those parts because of the availability and of course the price. So in this video, we'll be talking about changing the battery from the iPhone 11 and up, including the iPhone 11 Pro series, 12 series and 13. Can't talk about the 14 series yet, but my guess is the same. Uh, there's a couple of things that have been changed in iPhone 11 and up battery replacement that we'll be explaining in this video. So here we have these three parts. The first one is the iPhone 11 battery replacement flex, which I'll be talking about in just a bit. This is the GC version, and there's also the Candy version, and there's also a lot of other versions, but I'll be focusing only on the GC and Candy version today. And the second is the GC V1S, or you can use the V1SE programmer, GC programmer, to change health and cycle count and activate the new battery. And, uh, of course, the last part is the battery, the new battery, which will be removing the BMS from it and solder the original one from the original battery. Now for the explanation, uh, Apple made the iPhone 11 uh, EE Prom, uh, the chip on the BMS, that has the cycle count and the health of the battery stored on with only write function before it was a read-write chip and now it's only write. So in order to change the health and cycle count, you need this flex which stores the new battery information, cycle count and health battery, so that the phone can read uh, from the battery info from the flex. Now I'm using the GC version today, as I said, but there's also the Canly version. I worked with both versions, obviously. Each Flex needs its own programmer. The Canly one needs the Canly Flex and the GC compatible only with the GC programmer. But there is a cool function uh, or cool feature in Canly, which is you can use only one Flex uh, for all your battery replacement. What I mean is just take one Flex uh, from the Canly Flexes, uh, activate the battery with it, Put your health and cycle count and then reset your iPhone battery data by connecting other battery. Then connect the battery with the uh, Candy Flex for the first time only and then disconnect the flex, uh, the flex from the battery and you will have the same battery health in the system as the one you changed with the Candy Flex but obviously without the flex. So now we will begin the uh, replacement process with the GC uh, battery uh, flex replacement. So now we'll remove or uh, desolder the original BMS, but before that I will show you that uh, without this uh, GC Flex, the programmer uh, cannot read the BMC, uh, the BMC battery, because as I said it's protected, so that's why you need the uh, special GC Flex to save the data on it. Uh, you can see here, nothing is showing up on the uh, GC programmer, and now I'll be connecting the special Flex. And show you the results and after that I will be removing the black stickers that protects the BMS and then jump to the microscope to show you the safest way to separate the BMS from the anode and cathode but uh, you can see here that uh, I'm still just showing you I have a bad connector on the uh, board itself or I did not connect the battery well let me just connect it uh, connect again. You need to bend the flex a little bit just to make sure that everything is connected well after you uh, put the battery in the housing. And yep, you can see it's uh, still not activated. Uh, you need just to activate, but uh, this process will show you uh, after we solder the BMS on the new battery. And now, uh, as I said, uh, we are going to remove the black sticker and remove the uh, remove the BMS or desolder the BMS and uh, what I like to do here is just to cut uh, the anode and the cathode first you can see over here and then we're gonna bring the uh, new battery which is a new one also remove the black sticker and then uh, want to remove also the anode and the cathode from the BMS to solder it with our uh, special soldering iron uh, soldering iron with the uh, original BMS 
So uh, I'll catch you guys under uh, under the microscope. So now to the fun part, which is removing both metal left from the anode and cathode. I don't know what to call them, I'm just gonna call them metal or baskets uh, that was holding by the battery, and you can desolder as I'm doing here, but uh, with connected battery, to have the two baskets or metal on the new battery, it's just easier to solder the new battery to the BMS, or you can use the same way I'm using here, which is removing the baskets and then clean with our special soldering iron. Uh, by the way, I'm using a new soldering station here, which is the Hako FX950, which has this cool soldering tip that helped me to get the temperature right in the metal. Uh, be aware not to use a lot of heat. I'm just using 240 uh, degrees Celsius with this tip. If you use more, you may uh, you may end up with a damaged BMS, and then you need to swap the EEPROM to another BMS. So I'm spinning forward all the work, I'm not cutting anything, and all the tools that I will be use or I'm using here will be in the description down below, so you can use them for your pair as well. And after that we will solder everything, we'll go and activate the battery with our power supply, and then activate the battery with the new flex, and then reset the battery on the phone by connecting other battery until you get the important battery message, and after that just connect our new battery with original BMS and GC flex. So here it's a very important step I didn't show, which is activating the battery once you solder the original BMS to the battery, the new one, and you can do it just by connecting the battery to the power supply by placing the anode and the cathode on the connector, or the battery connector. Uh, of course, uh, don't connect them together, otherwise you will get a small explosion that can get to bigger problems. And uh, just we are going to, after that we are going to connect the battery to the GC programmer with the GC flex, and activate it, and of course write the new information uh, on the flex. So now we will be resetting the battery on the phone by connecting other battery until we get the important battery message. Now sometimes with the GC flex it does it automatically, but it's better to make sure that, uh, you know, make the step before uh, connecting the new battery just so we get everything right. I also hope that I covered everything in detail, uh, to be honest, this one is not the best video I made so far, but I feel I covered everything except the, of course, activating the uh, power supply part, the battery with the power supply. If you want, you can check in my video about iPhone XS Max replacement battery. Uh, you can see how I um, activate activating the uh, battery after I solder the original BMS to the new battery. And also this video will be the last repair video that I will be making in this year, 2022. So I hope you have a happy new year and may 2023 be better for everyone. And of course, I'm hoping to cover more videos in the next year. So uh, now the last thing is to connect the new battery with the original BMS. I have an Apple logo. And the first time you will see that uh, the phone does not read the battery, it's okay. But now you have the battery with the important battery message, as I said, because the GC Flex does it for the first time after reactivating the battery. And now let's just reset and turn on the phone again. It is okay with the Canly, this problem or this glitch maybe does not happen often. And you can see the phone reads the battery well and charges. And now just to make sure that yes, we have a 100% better health. So I guess uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.